Welcome to LDIS training video. Let's go through setup of SM320 controller, which can be used to control gates, magnetic lock or electric door openers. Before configuration, don't forget to connect SM320 to PC with Windows operating system via USB cable. And download configuration tool from our webpage. We will leave link in the description below. Let's start by changing SMS password and choosing SMS language. You can add up to 5 administrator phone numbers. Administrators can control and manage device settings and user database. Remember that only international phone number format is allowed. Select outputs that administrator will be able to control and extra settings if needed. Make sure that user database is enabled. It is important for device to work properly. Check if event log settings are enabled set periodic test time if needed click right settings button to save all the configuration to the device and let's move on to user database section here we need to load database from device configuration tool says that it's empty so let's add new user enter username phone number and press continue Select outputs that user will be able to control and any restrictions if there are any for this user. Using schedulers, we can allow user to control gates at the specific time of the day or week. We can also allow this user to access until specified date. After that this user will be deleted automatically. Ring counter. User will be able to control gates as many times as it is set in ring counter field. Ring counter status let us know how many accesses user has left. After we finish configuring users, do not forget to save database to the device. On the database management section we can also remove selected users or remove all users instantly. Also save user database to file and load it from file. Configuration tool let us find specific user by using search section. Now to the inputs outputs control section. On SM320 we have three inputs that are designed to inform administrators, via customizable SMS, about jam gate, door state and so on. We can enable or disable input, set input delay, and enable SMS messages in case of alarm with text that we prefer to get. On the output section we can name our output, change its startup state, set a duration of the pulse and choose output type. For each output we can assign schedulers that will automatically open or close gates or doors at the specific time. It's great way to limit access and automate the process. Let's move on to the GPRS settings. Here we can fill APN settings if mobile operator requires it, DNS IP addresses if needed, and decide if any of the admins will be able to initiate a remote connection by phone call. We already saw where and how we can use schedulers. Now let's try to dig deeper. Scheduler can be activated every day or at specific days. It's our choice. We can also limit access by setting start time and end time. We can configure up to 8 schedulers in total. On the system section we have date and time synchronization option that I recommend to enable in order to have the right time. It's very important for schedulers to work correctly as we need. For incoming phone number verification settings we find minimum phone number length and verify according to set last digits that we recommend to leave as it is. And for SMS notifications we can set limits of the day and month, so we won't get extra bills from SIM card providers. One of the most valuable feature that our SM320 can offer is cloud services and the possibility to control our gates or door with smartphone. It also allows to administrate SM320 directly from web interface, so you won't need to connect device to computer directly. Let's go through the process of setting up cloud services. On this section enable cloud services. Set time zone. And click right settings. Now click get ID, copy it and go to web browser. Let's go to the Cloud Services webpage and click Register. Fill required information. Check I agree. And press Register. Email with activation link will be sent, so go and activate your account. Now, fun part. Let's log in to our main board. 
Here you will find instructions how to get Smart ID. You can either copy it from configuration tool, or send SMS message to the device, and it will send you back Smart ID. Write device name, paste in Smart ID and you are good to go. After pressing add button, process will be started and it will take a while to finish, so be patient. If adding process will take too long, please double check configuration of your device and try again. Once setting process is finished, you can start using cloud services. Now all we need to do is prepare smartphone application, so we could control the gates. Download Eldis Gates application from Google Play Store, or Apple Store. After installation is finished, go to the application. Enter user phone number, that is added to the device database. Phone number must be written in international format without plus sign. Enter password which by default is six last digits of your phone number. Don't worry, Eldis Gates application binds user account to the phone itself, so no one else will be able to log in using your account. If needed, password can be changed on Gates Cloud website. Now press login. Both iOS and Android users can control their gates directly from the application by simple clicking on the controller. Additionally, Android users can add widget to the home screen. Touch and hold your finger on any open spot on the one of your home screen pages. This will bring up a list of options. Keep in mind that different phone models have different ways to access widget menu, so please see your phone manual for more information. Touch widgets from the list of choices. Scroll through your list of installed widgets and select the eldest smart gate widget. In the menu fill in phone number and password. Now press login. Select gate controller that you want to manipulate. Rename it if needed and press save. That's it. Widget is on your home screen. We kindly appreciate your interest in security and automation solutions, made by Eldis. Please follow us on social networks. Get the latest news while we prepare more product video reviews for you.